You know, we do uh, the battles and, and the reenactments, so it's a different style. We, we actually train it every week, so we don't have a major problem from a combat point of view. So. This series of battle reenactments on the Berwick ramparts certainly entertain the crowd. Even young warriors get in on the act. Oh, the kids absolutely love it. Once you actually engage them, which we always try and do, they're just drawn in. It's absolutely fantastic for them. And uh, we also do such as kiddie build drills, uh, little kiddie battles and what have you. And to actually just look at them, the faces just light up when they get involved. So, yeah, kids love it. It's a hobby that actually just takes over your life. It's going very well at the moment. Nice weather. Uh, we're doing everything that we would normally do now. And uh, just a great time. Uh, we're based in Sheffield. We have been going for nearly 30, no, nearly 40 years now. Uh, very, very old well-established group and now uh, we reenact the lifetimes combat of the late 15th century. Over the weekend the living history encampments and combat displays show just how tough life was back in medieval times. For a few hours, you are transported back into another time and place. The group, the best of times, the worst of times, makes sure the day goes off, quite literally, with a bang. Mark Woolhouse. Uh, we do actually do a number of big battles uh, each year, uh, such as Battle of Bosworth, Battle of Tewkesbury, uh, and there's four, five, six hundred people on the field. A few years ago, there was uh, above 2,000 people on the field at Tewkesbury. 
So that's a different style of battle and combat where we're actually operating as a unit. Here, knights in Battle Medieval Society are put through their paces with a spectacular display of strength and courage. exercise we're going to do what's called a circle of treachery and it being Berwick, it being Scottish, um, then we're looking at treacherous. Ooh, that looks sore. Historically, it's very, very difficult to get some information about the medieval period. Thankfully now, we are getting uh, good sources of information. One of the joys of our group is because we're actually uh, portraying uh, the Duke of Norfolk, we've actually got access to his personal accounts which actually is a fantastic source of information. We can actually see exactly what he's purchased, even gifts to uh, household members. So that's one of our main sources of information. This is normally about the furthest north we normally go, but a couple of years ago we even went to Guernsey. So, and we got it in between all over the place. It all looks very authentic. Those are all historically accurate. It does take an awful lot of uh, work and time, basically.
that includes kitchen, uh, armour, weapons, fighting, 